Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video and gameplay. I'm super excited for today. We got the expansion. We got new decks coming out. Um, yeah, we have Azir as a new champion and Kindred. And so what are we doing with those two champions? We are playing a Snapvines deck. Um, as I was kind of going over the Sharima cards that were revealed yesterday with Azir, um, I seriously undervalued the power of Arise. I kind of downplayed it as being a card that only produces a 1-1 ephemeral unit for 3 mana, but we can get this to work wonders in this deck. One thing that the Snapvine lacks is a way to kind of protect itself. It's only got 3 health, so if we've got a burst speed spell that's producing summoned units that produce more Snapvines, We've solved basically all of those problems. And we can create a super synergistic deck with Kindred and Azir. Uh, the Slay kind of archetype where we have a whole bunch of units that we can kill off uh, with other cards to get card draw, to produce bigger units, or to level up Azir as well. And we just combine this with Snapvines for a spicy late game win. Um, is this a top tier Azir deck? Probably not, but it is is so fun and i got some decent wins i lost only one game i've played quite a few and i've won all of the others and i think it's just because the enemy has no idea what i'm playing and really has no idea how to react to it so um, let's go through here so like i said basically everything in this deck is working to either level up um, Azir or to work with kind of the slay mechanic and have a whole bunch of units to to end up um um, putting out and swarming the board with Azir and things like that. So we've got Doomkeeper, who is producing a Sand Soldier, Hapless Aristocrat, who summons a Spiderling, Curse Keeper, Last Breath, Escaped Abomination, Fading Icon, Summons Prey. So all of these cards are summoning secondary units, and all of those units that are summoned afterwards go, go towards leveling up Azir. And so we can level up Azir, no joke, by turn four. Um, quite reliably and we've got a couple of other cards to help with that too like haunted relic which in turn also synergizes amazingly well with overgrown snapvine and the neverglade collector all right so coming up here on the cards that we're using to kill off our units we've got glimpse beyond we have the blighted caretaker we have spirit leech all of those cards can be used to target our units to kill them off um, kind of release stronger units and then also if kindred's down synergize with the slay mechanic um, I really like Blighted Caretaker with, with Azir as well because we're summoning three units on one turn. Amazing for level up. Like I said, we can get him leveled up by turn um, four. And if you're at nine of ten units, you play Azir, you level him up automatically as well. So really, before we play Azir, we only need to have level or summon nine units. Um, and the sapling works really well with the slay mechanic as well because of the challenger. Um, yeah, and then late game, we we're running as two tech cards, or three tech cards. we got Rite of Negation for more. Kind of, we can kill our units, but also we can stop spells from hitting us as well. So Rite of Negation, we've got the box as a tech for TF, Fizz, Burblefish, th all those annoying things, and really for any other Arise decks that we're going to be seeing. And then Rune Nation as well. We can just clear off the board. A lot of times we've got the potential to draw a lot of cards in hand, have a lot of cards stored up. If the enemy's board is getting a little bit too scary, we can just use Rune Nation and kind of reset. So this has been awesome. Like I said, super fun. Top tier, probably not, but I had a blast playing it, and you guys should definitely try it out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Maybe we'll have another video later on today. Maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll definitely have a new one tomorrow with some new cards tell me which ones you are most excited for which ones you want to see in decks and um your ideas for them and maybe we can can build a deck around those as well anyway until tomorrow thanks and um have a awesome expansion all right everybody i hope you're ready for this the first deck of the expansion coming on out here azir kindred yes this has been really fun to come up with we got a turn one play right off the bat with Dune Keeper, so let's see if he's got a way to stop us. This is four damage coming off right off the bat. We draw two of them, so we got a turn three play as well. We are susceptible to Twisted Fate, Gold, or Red card, which is problematic. Let's see what he does. Got Kindred in hand too. 
as well as an Everglade Collector. Oro Cannon. It's a little disappointing that he's got a way to block it this early, but... Let's go ahead and just attack with the Sand Soldier. Still two damage. We can use this as um, as a death trigger later on too, so this is fine. And let's go ahead and play Curse Keeper. So we're at 3 of 10 for the Azir. And he's got all these elusive units already. He can't attack with Fizz though, which is good for us. Alright, Escaped Abomination. That's just not quite doing it for us. So I think we're just going to go with the second Doomkeeper here. We need some of our, our kill spells here. If we don't get those, then I think we may end up losing this game. But um, we're definitely going to attack with everything here, just because I expect him to have Twisted Fate this next round. So we want to get value out of these one drops before Twisted Fate comes. And I think we're at, we're at 4 of 10 for his ear, so that's fine. I wonder what he's looking for. You know what? I think we play the Curse Keeper here. This just makes his red card a little bit more awkward. We're going to force him to block these two if he has a Twisted Fate. He goes ahead and blocks everything except my curse keepers. Interesting, actually. Okay. Let's see if we can get these units out here. Haunted Relic, again, isn't quite doing it for us. We need, like, our Glimpse Beyond and our, and our units that can kill, like our Blighted Caretaker. Humanity is obsolete. Play Faded Icon here. 8 of 10, so a 0 to actually we could we meet the level up condition with Haunted Relic here. What's his, uh... I do think we want to kill this off. I think this is okay trading into. Alright, so do we play Kindred this round? Ooh, the box is actually really good. Do we play Kindred or do we go for a Neverglade Collector? Could also go for Haunted Relic first as well. Oof, this is kind of a hard decision. We may go for Haunted Relic into Kindred just to see what he does here, and we could potentially play the box is going to be key for his um for his his burble fishes if he ever gets those out. So we definitely want to keep this. Um I think we may play the Neverglade Collector here. I just need some of my kill procs for my own units. Quick attack's nice though. Let's play Haunted Relic first, I guess. This gives me some flexibility in what I can play here. Never okay, so there goes the TF. Yeah. He plays a red card. I don't know about that. Something for all. There's 
Which is, I guess, kind of what we wanted, though, right? So now we're going to play the Kindred. We've got a decent attack with her. Which is, again, kind of what we want here. So he's going to be forced to block. And hopefully he doesn't have a ton of burble fish in his hand. So we killed the Fizz here for sure. If he blocks like this, he may as well block with the Fizz. I wonder if he realizes this. Yeah, he might as well block with the Fizz. There's no point in not blocking that damage. Well, I guess then his Twisted Fate dies. So this protects his Twisted Fate, I guess. Oh my goodness, we're just not, we're just not quite there with these cards that we're drawing. We've got plenty of card draw in this deck too. All right, let's play Curse Keeper. I think we play the box this round if he attacks. Actually, I think we play it anyway. I'm pretty sure we play this. I'm pretty sure this is the right move. Actually, I'm positive it's the right move now. <laughs> Alright, perfect. So he draws three cards here. We have an open attack. Which is really good for us. So you have I mean, I guess he could have get excited in his hand. It's annoying, for sure. Mm. I think we might as well go for this. Nice. <laughs> we just... <laughs> Alright. There we go, everybody. <laughs> When you surprise, when the player is surprised by the interaction there, so first time you slay a unit each round, I think it's plus two, plus two. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool, and that's against a decent deck too in the last meta, Fizz TF. So man, we didn't even draw half our draw cards either. That that was pretty fun. I really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. We're going against Twisted Fate Swain. Let's see if we can get some decent card draw this time around. We had some good aggression early on in the game, but card draw was definitely a problem. And this opening hand actually is okay. I may get rid of the Kindred here just for a little bit better of a curve, but i um, end up drawing both of these card draws now, which isn't the best. We have a decent turn three play here, which is great. Ooh. Now nah, we want to use this defensively. Three damage. I think we're okay with this though, right? It's too bad we didn't draw this turn one. That would have been great. But we can go Blighted Caretaker. We don't have to worry about Twisted Fate. Uh, Noxian Fervor is definitely a thing, but I think this is fine. Really good play here. We're at 5 of 10 for a 0 already. He leveled up super fast in this deck. So let's see if he's got a Noxian Fervor. Stow the rations! Shackle the 
business! Come, come, this way. We're not going back with him. We are going to attack with both of these, though. Alright, pretty nice and aggressive round for us there. Retain our our two non-ephemeral units, which is good. Gives us a Spirit Leech um, um, card here that we can use. That's okay, too. He still has to use quite a few cards. To make that go off. Two Dune Keepers. I think we can use this this round, though. See if he's got Twisted Fate, I guess. If he passes, I'm not going to play anything. Alright, Zap Spray Fin, that's fine. So let's go ahead with the Dune Keeper, I believe. And I think we use Glimpse Beyond on our uh, Sand Soldier here. Hmm. Or do we just let him go? We might just let him go, don't we? Actually, it's silly not to block the damage. Alright. What are we at? Is there a summon? So he levels up, doesn't he? So I think we play this, and I think we just go for Azir. It should count as himself, too. There's a lot of things here that we have to consider when playing this deck. Yeah. Now, we are very susceptible to TF at this point. But we do have some other cards we can play here. Make it rain. Nice. He missed a lot of the units he wanted there. Azir's command! Maybe we attack with Azir here. This is going to take some getting used to for sure. Would like to find my snap vine. I think this is fine. We got a second Azir, so we're just gonna kill him. I'm gonna prevent him from using all of these spells. This slows down his swain level up a lot. Ooh, Runation's great. So is the box. Okay, I think we just go for Azir here, don't we? Actually, we can play it slow though. When allies attack, summon attacking Sand Soldier. When you summon an ally, give us both plus one plus zero this round. Let's go with the hapless aristocrat first. I'm still a little bit nervous of TF since he's at the mana to use it and I would like to use the box at any point he gets TF down because that kind of turns into a main win condition for him. Alright, we're okay now so I think his ears fine here.
don't think we block with the Azir, though. So we go like this. And like this. Take two damage. Um, and now do we develop? I don't think we develop here. I really wish that I had the snap vine. We're at nine mana, so we can actually use both of these. Man, this deck is actually a lot harder to play than I anticipated. So we get an attacking sand soldier just by attacking, right? How much damage is that? I honestly think we may just open attack here. The question is, do I use a rise first? And then do I attack with the... So that gives me three, that's nine. We have an empire to build. Twelve. Jeez, always. That seems like a gamble if I go for this. I think we just go for it. See if he's got make it rain. We live here. You can't do this. Okay, that's fine. And we retain the blocker as well. Maybe we attack with the, the Azir there. I'm just a little bit wary of the Ravenous flock, though, coming down. And at this point in the game as well, the the um, Azir is kind of my win condition, right? I kind of expect him to open attack. Ooh, he doesn't. Ooh, interesting. There's a snap vine. Finally, nice of him to show up. What's he looking for? Ravenous block? He's only got two mana now, though. I do think we block this. I think we get value out of it while we can, because it's, it's only got one health, right? Alright, let's go ahead and put down Hapless Aristocrat. And I think we go for Overgrown Snap Vine this next round. The unfortunate thing is I use the Arise. Nice. He has to use Noxine Fervor if he has it. Awesome. Wait, that just will summon another snap mine, though. <laughs> Are you going to surrender? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Look what we have built. 
That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, there's another top tier deck. Well, I don't know if it's top tier anymore, but it's it's a decent deck. Right, TF. <laughs> Swain. Round two. A zero win. We're going against Gideon. Little Gideon. Demacia. Ionia. Not playing anything new, it looks like, but guess we'll see. Um, how aggressive should we mulligan here? I actually like this. I like this curve. This is nice. I think we're just going to go for it. I am one with the land. So we can use Hapless Aristocrat here. Um, even just blocking this guy actually really helps us. We have even attacks, which is a little bit awkward for us, so I think what we want to do is just develop another blocker this round rather than put out the Curse Keeper. We'll put out Curse Keeper this next round. Um, we will attack, though. Can't block both of them. See what he does here at two mana. I think if he had had the Bright Soul Protector, he would have played it. So we'll see what he does. Alright, doesn't go for anything. The box is actually really good. I think I just use this on if he has a few right here. I mean, I'm gonna block this every time. This looks like a barrier. <laughs> Sharp sight, whatever. This is fine. I don't really get the point of playing it, to be honest. And again, it's it's just helping me level up my deer if I ever find him. So does he use single combat here? He does. Wow. I just I don't think he's playing this correctly. Do we want to play this? I'm going to pass here. He doesn't strike me as being a great player. It is me. Please calm yourselves. So we're going to abuse that. He will draw a card here. But we also need to take out his units, so. And deal quite a bit of damage. Alright. We need to take out one of his units. And we've got Neverglade Collector. Probably gonna use that this round. This makes it a little bit awkward for him, I think. Let's go ahead and just play it. He can't kill this card. He's got another Ranger Resolve, I guess so be it. We're still going to damage him quite a bit. This is fine. Perfectly fine. I would like to see some draw here. All right, how much damage do we do here? So, um, I think we just go for it. I think I underestimated this card. I think I underestimated this card at first. Yeah, and we just get the win. We don't even have to get our champions out. Really good card in this deck. Nothing that he's going to be able to do. Um, I, I do. Yeah. There's. What's he going to do? Those ephemeral units are dealing three damage each. It's great. <laughs> 